Hey, truck drivers, listen, I'm going to give you six steps on how to never get lost driving a big truck. Listen, driving a truck can be very eventful. A lot of things can happen. A lot of things can go wrong. There's a lot of stress that goes along with it, and there's a lot of good things that go along with it, but you don't want to have to worry about getting lost. That's one thing. So in this video, I'm going to give you six tips on how to get lost, not to get lost. Number one, call your shipper and receiver before you go to a location. If you've never been to that city, call them and get local directions in and out and write them down. That's the first thing you should be doing. Number two, make sure you got a good trucking GPS. And I said trucking GPS, not car GPS. A good trucking GPS, and you want to put the address in there and make sure it's giving you a good trucking route. Number three, you want to look at that route at an atlas. Make sure you got a good atlas and you can look at that and see how the route goes. Every truck driver should have an atlas. That's how we always used to use it in the old days. Atlases are very trustworthy. So that's your third thing. Number four, you want to look up Google Maps. Now, I didn't say use Google Maps as a GPS, but look up the place you're going to on Google Maps and do the picture, picture of the place so you can see where the shipper and the receiving side is. A lot of times the address that the shipper might be maybe to their front door and trucks don't go that way. You may have to go to the other side, but if you blow it up on Google Maps, you can actually see the location of where you're going. Okay, then what you also want to do on number five is you want to compare all your notes from calling the truck and GPS, the the Atlas, and looking at the Google Maps. That's your five steps. Compare all of them and see. And if they, all of them are checked out, you're good to go. Number six tip. This is what I use sometimes. Uh, back in the day when I didn't have a GPS and I had to write in my directions, I got a dry erase marker, and I would write down a few notes on my side windshield or on my my passenger window in a little writing. And then once I made that step, I could just wipe it away. That's a little tip may I help you out. Listen, if you got some value from this, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. This is Trucking Life with Sean. Let's get it.